Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. Okay, okay. You wanna move here, okay? So I can more really concentrate here because I'm gonna show you something very special this morning. Okay. Share. Well, thank you. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Oh, you're tired or sleepy or hungry? Good morning, children. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Um, any one of you never disobeyed their mom and dad? Never, never, never disobeyed. Ooh, no one is very brave. Ooh, like, mm, mm, okay. I wanted to tell you a story. When I was also a little girl, younger, like you, I also disobeyed my mom. Okay, it's sad, but it happened, and it's also, it shows that every one of you tried to disobey one or twice, but not all the time. Is that right? Okay, that's good. Okay, so I have um, two other sisters that grow really close to me. So I've got my elder sister, and I've got the younger sister. So I'm in the middle, okay? So uh, we're very close. So anything that we play, we have to play together because girls tend to play the same thing most of the time, okay? But I am the one that tends not to play the girly side of the game. I want something like different from my two sisters. And so when my sister wanted to play dolls, like you got a playhouse, we make a playhouse outside the house with um, leaves and all that, yeah, and then we play in there outside. Then... I want to be the one that is going to cut the wood, to dig the hole. I, I want that work. But my sister will do the tidying up of the, like, the bed for the doll. So they do that job. One day, my mom told us that it's not very good to keep cutting sticks, woods, digging the ground all the time. So where you put your... We do our playhouse, we make our own playhouse outside the house. So where you put your playhouse, don't try to move it around into another place. But because we wanted to be occupied, especially when there's no class, there's no school, we wanted to try and extend our house again. So I am doing the job which, what's my job? What I like to do? I like cutting the sticks, I like digging the hole. So I always had a knife with me. But then, my mom says, make sure you're not going to use the very, very sharp knife. But, no. The more you're going to use that knife or, what you call it, the, the bolo. Or the bigger knife, I'll say. The more you use it, what's going to happen? Machete. It's not very sharp anymore because you... Uh, you when children are not very careful, you dig into a stone or anything, or you just um, strike it anywhere. So it was not very sharp. So I was thinking, very thick uh, shield, okay? So they put that one inside to so make sure no one can touch it. No, no one will be harmed from that one. But I am brave enough because I know I can cut sticks. I get that very sharp machete or the big knife, if you can't think of machete. And then I start right-handed so I start chopping and chopping and chopping and then all of a sudden I was thinking why is there blood in where I was was chopping I did not realize I actually cut half my thumb I was thinking where is it I was looking and I was crying I lost it so my sister was trying to help me my sister to help us because very big trouble my mom would not really Love me anymore. She will be, yeah, yeah, but because you did not listen to me. I think same as, as me sometimes. So I said, okay, come on, please, please. I was just looking around where I was doing, and we found the half of my thumb. It was actually disconnected. And so what we did, we also know a little bit of Pathfinders that time. What we did, we stick it back and tried to put, have you seen a banana leaf? You know, at the back of the banana leaf, you can actually peel a very thin film. We took it off and tried to put it and tried to join into my finger, and I was just hiding it. 
I did not say anything to my mom because I'll be in big trouble. I will have a lot of more punishment after that. So I was hiding it, but the pain in the evening was really, really bad. And so I, I started to tell my sister, maybe we have to tell mom what happened. So we did say to my mom, it was late afternoon, so he, she looked at it and she said, Joe, we have to go to the doctors, we can't do anything about it. Unfortunately, the doctor would not be able to stick it together and have to suffer it half. Okay, so what happened is if we disobeyed to our parents, something will happen and I have that all the time. I have that all the time. It just flashed into my mind because the other day, I was cutting my nails and Jojo was telling me, why are you not going to cut it really short? I said, no, because it will show the evidence of it. So I'll have a little nail into that little thumb there. So every time, okay, our parents is going to tell us something. We have to think and think really, really well uh, about what the message is because it's always best to obey our parents. Okay, I wanted us to read together Ephesians chapter 6. Verses 1, 2, 3. Shall we read it together? Children, in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on earth. Okay, let us pray. With who's going to pray? pray. Come here, Christ. Come here. Come here, Mason. Pricey first, and then Chan, Missy, and then Kuya Jen. So, um, hey guys, thank you for um for keeping us safe today at church and help us um to be good and not hurt me. Amen. Then, Father, thank you, Lord, for this lovely. Night and we have a great day, and we thank you and help us have be respectful and kind. Don't be selfish because you will be true for you, God, and kind, and you always respect it. We have a nice day in Jesus' Christian name, amen. Thank you for the really good that you bring it on me again. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for this morning you have given us a praise to say thank you for waking us up again that we may live for you while to pray to say thank you for letting us have another day to serve you, Lord. I also pray um, that, we all, that we may listen to you and also to our... Mother and Father, Lord, and in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.